to try and find out who the best team on FIFA 18 is. Now, last time we used PSG in the first uh, episode of this series and we found out they were pretty good with a 2-0 win against Real Madrid. Now, we say that we're finding out who the best team is, but I mean, it's out of the ones that they've put in the demo because I only have access to the demo at the moment. So let's continue this series. And in the second episode, as you already know, we are going to be using Manchester United to see if they are any good on this game. So let's keep some continuity here as we pick Man United and also pick Real Madrid as our opponents. Now, they've got the brand new kits in, which actually don't look too different from last season's ones, in my opinion. But we're going to go with them, and we're going to have a little look at the squad. And I'm actually not sure how the new signings like Lukaku, Lindelof, etc. have been rated, uh, at least on the demo. I know these aren't the final ratings, but... Oh, Lukaku's up to an 86, only the age of 24. He is going to be an absolute weapon to use on this game. Pogba's gone down by one. Lindelof stayed at 79. Matic in the middle. I believe he's gone down one, which is a bit weird. I don't know why that's happened considering he played for the champions last season um, and he was quite integral in that role but I mean it is what it is Valencia and Lindelof uh, Bay and Lindelof in the middle I'm gonna just swap Lindelof out for how was Phil Jones rated oh he's only 79 Rojo uh, actually do you know what let's just use Lindelof because I haven't really used him obviously for Manchester United too much on FIFA let's stick Rojo on the Actually, that bench is strong. Now I'm looking at it, that bench is pretty strong, you know. Um, who else do we have down here? And uh, Pretty much no one apart from Shaw. Young's gone down to 74 rated at the age of 32. Versatile, though. And also Jesse Lingard down here. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that entire squad as it is. And this is only pretty much the third game that I've played. No, maybe third or fourth game that I've actually even played on this FIFA 18 demo, so I'm still very much getting used to these mechanics, and um, I'm really excited now, only two, uh, less than two weeks until the actual full game is released. Like I've said a few times on these FIFA videos, I have a lot of uh, sort of series and other ideas planned for the full release, so make sure you click the subscribe button down below if you do want to see those, uh, those series and those ideas and those videos coming out very, very soon as Real Madrid line up absolute elites of world football probably the best team in the world and that is how we are testing ourselves to uh, sort of verify who is the best team and also am I any good at FIFA 18 the brand new kickoffs it still surprises me every time I see one guy standing over the ball on the halfway line for kickoff but that is uh, the new way that uh, football matches are initiated these days for whatever reason it may be uh, as Valencia great little interception there oh and you know what I've just realized I think we're playing on semi-pro. Yeah, we would definitely were playing on semi-pro. What an absolute knobhead I am. Let's go to world class. A little bit of an actual challenge in this game and restart. Okay, so here we go once again. It is now us taking the kickoff. Um, so that must just be a flip of a coin situation as it obviously is in real life. I don't know why I'm discussing how kickoffs work because everybody who would even consider playing FIFA probably knows that as we put it back straight to Lukaku and we've got a penalty in the second minute. That was a ferocious little attack that we had right from kickoff there right down the right wing with Valencia and that is pretty much how you're going to be playing with Man United if you if you use them on FIFA this season I imagine. Exploit your wide men, Mkhitaryan, Valencia, Martial slash Rashford, uh, Shaw perhaps, Blind, whoever you're playing at left back, Darmian and um, yeah work your way up like we just did that was very very quick. Is Lukaku though the best penalty taker in this team? Let's have a look shall we? He actually has 82 penalties which is weird because I seem to remember him missing loads of penalties um, well, not loads, but a fair few penalties, uh, just like of important ones that I've seen on TV. But we're going to take this penalty of Lukaku anyway, and the target's not showing, so let's just... Uh... Oh, okay, it's appeared now. As are we going to finish it? Oh, we've hit the pose and it's gone in. Great little finish in the end there. And a brand new celebration. Yes, I wanted to get one of those done. We have, and Lukaku has put us 1-0 up. Uh, against Real Madrid in the third minute of this world-class game. Crowds look really nice on this game. I do have to say, I said it in the last video, but they really do look nice. Makes the whole game, gives it a little bit more realism. And, um, yeah. Buried, mate. 1-0 United. Corner Real Madrid swung in by Tony Kroos. De Gea, who was wanted by Real Madrid in the last two windows, punches it out straight to Casemiro. Lukaku can't... Oh, and I just noticed that when you sprint and commit to something as Real Madrid come forward, oh, it's a wonderful tackle by, I think it was Valencia, but he plays it out to Pogba. Are we going to work our way out from the back? Herrera, can he find this ball to Mkhitaryan? Get up, mate, get up. Beat whoever this is, Marcelo. Okay, he's done well, but we've lost out, actually. It's actually there. Throw him. 
Oh, uh, did you see how quickly Pogba got onto that? I don't know who he was outpacing there, but that was disgusting play. As Lukaku's got the ball here, Mkhitaryan gets it on the wing. Oh, the overpowered skill of dreams. It still works, boys. Oh, and Lukaku really should have been doing something better from that kind of position. That could have been 2-0 really early on there, but it wasn't to be. But we, I, I tell you what, 19 minutes into this game, 20 minutes in as we get a free kick, and Man United feels so strong and physical and really nice to play with. And uh, what have I done here then? Because I didn't mean to do that. Let's get someone on this free kick who can actually take them. And apparently nobody can, apart from Paul Pogba. Here we go. Let's try and have a shot, shall we? Let's take a little step back. Make the angle a little bit bigger. Gamesmanship. The commentators are talking about gamesmanship as Pogba puts it in to the keeper's arms from the free kick. Not the best free kick in the world. Oh, poorly Pogba. That is not the skill I wanted you to do, Sunshine. That is absolutely unacceptable in the middle of midfield. And that is just the kind of player he is. Just a bit flash. That's why he dabs. Oh, another excellent tackle there. And this time, Eric Bailly comes away with the ball. I'll tell you what, he's done bloody well to carry that as well. As we take on uh, Carvajal with Marcus Rashford. Has he got a left foot on him for a cross? Not really. <laughs> Not really at all. Get away from my box, Bale. Oh, they've done me. Oh, he's let it go under him, De Gea. But it was wide, fortunately for us. It was Tony Kroos, I believe, on the end of that. And just poor. Poor finish, really. Near post. Oh, well, what, if you let Ronaldo turn you, then... Oh, what a tackle. Antonio Valencia and Eric Bailly feel... I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Oh, great little turn in the box from David Blinders. He just hit us on a counter-attack with that little intricate skill whilst defending. Matic is going to turn his man. He's strong. He's also a good passer of the ball. He finds Ander Herrera, who's going to try and find a cheeky ball, but absolutely fail at doing so. Probably a little bit unnecessary to slide there. And that's half time. 1-0. Uh, we remember we finished the game last time with PSG 2-0 against Real Madrid. So at the moment, if we're going on this absolute nonsensical logic of uh, how many goals you score against a team means you're better than them, then I would say that PSG are currently winning. But we've got a whole other half of football to play. And as I get grow into this game and uh, you know have a few more chances, attacks, and shots, maybe we can uh, we can do better than a 2-0 victory. And let's hope that we don't concede as well because obviously we are playing Real Madrid and they are more than capable with Ronaldo, Bale and Benzema up top as well as their entire midfield and most of their defenders at scoring goals. And he's got it again. Eric Bailly again just sniffing out the danger. And look at this, he's going on a little cheeky run here. Who's, who's making themselves available? Who's making themselves available? Eric Bay wants to pass to someone, but he's just going all the bloody way. He's actually taking it past Marcelo. No way am I going to score a goal like this with Eric Bay. This shouldn't be allowed. That was almost ridiculous. And I tell you what, I thought in the PSG game that sort of dribbling past and beating players was a little bit overpowered in this demo, at least. Uh, not sure about the full game. And that proved my point because Eric Bay does not often run the length of the field and beat Real Madrid defenders. Oh, come on, keeps, keeps. Okay, well played now. Drive that throw. Oh, what a goalkeeper's throw that was. Lukaku actually finds his man. And Rashford's going to latch onto this. Yes, he is. He's going to get in the box. And how's crossing? How's crossing? There we go. And Lukaku, of course, finishes his dinner, as he always does. Well, usually does. And it was Marcus Rashford. And this is a new celebration as well. I love getting new celebrations done. Um, I wonder how many they've actually implemented in this new FIFA 18. The crowd again, look how, look how good they look. And uh, that, was a, that was a good goal. And I'm telling you what, like, crossing feels a lot better on this game. Definitely than FIFA 17. I could not really score crosses. But I could not cross the ball very well on FIFA 17. So it's nice that they've sort of changed that mechanic a little bit. And uh, Lukaku, like I said, finishes his dinner for his second goal of the game. Now, let's actually make a substitution here. Not one of those quick substitutions, but let's actually make... Let's bring some people that I want to just try out on. Let's see how Martial's doing. Uh, Rashford's actually got a lot of gas in the tank still. So maybe what we'll do is we'll bring off Herrera for Martial, and then we'll drop Mkhitaryan into midfield and swap his wings with... Uh, swap the... What am I trying to say? Swap wings with Rashford, basically. Um, and also... Fellaini is just that guy who keeps coming on in real life. Um, let's bring him on for Matic and see how he does in the CDM role. Herrera wins the ball back. Is he going to have a long shot? I've not scored a single long shot yet on this FIFA. Having only played sort of three games, that wasn't a bad effort. And now those substitutions are going to be made. Herrera, who just took that shot, is off. Matic is off. 
And on come Martial and Marouane Fellaini. It looks like a very, very good bench that Man United are going to have this season on FIFA. Um, a lot of strong options and a lot of ways you can change it up really and diversify your sort of game plan. And Real Madrid haven't really given a good of account of themselves. Maybe I'll have to bump this difficulty up to legendary um, in FIFA 18 to actually get some sort of challenge because I, I haven't really even been threatened uh, of conceding really. Um, and I'm playing like the best team on the game which is, which is bizarre. Oh, a lovely little dummy there. I love that new animation, but we've lost the ball in midfield, which is not where you want to lose the ball. What a perfect through ball, and they are going to score just as I started talking about how I need to bump up the difficulty and that I never concede. I bloody well concede to a Sergio Ramos, I think, finish. That's Ramos, right? A left-footed finesse in the box from Sergio Ramos in the 78th minute. What's he doing up there? Have they gone ultra-attacking or what? And what a finish that was for a bloody centre-back on his weaker foot as well. As Fellaini does a little dummy, I'll tell you what, I like that dummy, it works. It actually works better than dummies have previously. Uh, we're going to get a third here, maybe. Rashford, is he going to score? He is, it's Marcus Rashford from the right wing. He swap wins with Martial. He's assisted one for, uh, oh, he's doing the storage dance. I didn't mean to do that. I'm used to doing that because I have storage on my ultimate team, so I always bash that, uh, that celebration control. He, he provided a goal for Lukaku earlier with a nice little cross. He swapped wings with Martial, and now he's finished. Uh, his own chance, so 3-1. It's the same sort of deficit, but we've conceded one and we've scored one extra than the PSG game, so make of that what you will. As they bring on Mr. Mateo Kovacic for Casemiro, uh, holding the midfield. If we can get one more goal, that will absolutely confirm that Manchester United, for me, have been the better team on FIFA 18 uh, than PSG. But we've only got two to go by. We haven't, we haven't used the likes of Juventus, Chelsea... Man City and I think there are a couple of other really good teams on this game as well but the ball comes in and who's that? It's Bale, is he going to get anything? No he's not, he's going to pass it back nicely to De Gea and I think once we get this ball in play that will be the end of the game and it is a Manchester United win 3-1 uh, sorry, against Real Madrid in this game at Old Trafford. It's a very very good team if you're looking to play with Manchester United this season on FIFA. Judging by the demo I have to say every time, disclaimer, it's only the demo I'm playing here. But yeah, they feel really really nice, really powerful, fast, strong, they, they feel like they, they uh, sort of gel well, the passing, the movement's really on point. Um, I would probably say, based on that, they were nicer to play with than PSG. So at the moment, although it was a similar sort of scoreline, a two-goal deficit, I am actually going to put Manchester United up to the top of the of the little leaderboard that we've got going on here. And they are going to be, at the moment, the best team that I've used. Now, make sure you stay tuned for the next team that we're going to use. I'm going to do, I think, another English team. So I think it'll be Manchester City next, so we can directly compare who are the better out of the two Manchester clubs in this FIFA. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See you later, and sweet.